take you through a little workshop on how you can create your very own willow lantern. Now this is a great activity for a variety of ages, so whether you're very little or young at heart, or anywhere in between, please do join in because I'm sure you'll enjoy it. To create a willow lantern, you're going to need a few things. Firstly, we are going to be working with willow, which is a fantastic natural material. Traditionally, willow has been used to create baskets, and when you have a singular one on their own, it's got a pretty cool name, this is called a withy. Today, we're going to use some of these withies to create the structure of our lantern. Now, although we're using willow, it is possible to have a go at making your lantern with other types of sticks. So for a cheaper alternative, you could go with some bamboo, uh, or you could go out in the garden or go on a walk and collect some sticks. Uh, just be aware that those sticks might not be as flexible as the willow, so you might need a little bit of extra tape. However, if, like me, you are going to be using willow, then it's a really good idea to let it soak in some water for about an hour, as this will just help it be a little bit more flexible. The next thing you are going to need is some masking tape. If you can, it's a good idea to try and get some decent quality masking tape because this is what's going to hold our structure together really. Um, and it's a good idea to get some thin tape if you can. If you can't, don't worry, maybe you could just have a go at cutting a thicker roll in half. You'll also need something to cover the lantern with, so we need some wet strength material. Material that can soak up a lot of glue so that it can go on our lantern and it won't rip easily. You could use some fabric or tissue paper, or if you can get it, this tea bag material works brilliantly. Lastly, you will need some glue, one part glue to two parts water, a tape measure, some scissors, and an LED light. So to start with, we are going to make these two square frames that support our lantern structure. So to start with, we'll make the larger square at the bottom. So you'll need a withy and a tape measure. And you need to measure along 20 centimeters and then bend the material. And do that four times so that you have a square. When you get to the end, don't worry if you've snapped one of the corners because we're going to be reinforcing each one of them with some masking tape and we'll use masking tape to attach these two together. After you've done this one, we're going to do the same again for the smaller square, but this time you only measure 10 centimetres. Once you've got your squares, the next thing we're going to do is grab four long withies, because these are going to create the uprights in our structure. Once we've got our four withies, we are going to attach them to the inside of the squares to make our structure and make sure you use a lot of tape. When you're putting this together, don't worry if your withies splay out everywhere, as long as you don't take someone's eye out. <laughs> we are going to attach our next one on just a little bit further up. So when we've got our structure, we're then going to hold these bits together at the top and tape around it about there and then chop it off. And so we have our basic lantern structure. If you want, at this stage, you can add a bit of cardboard to the bottom here so there's something for your LED light to sit on. So now 
we have finished with our structure, we're gonna move on and look at the material that we need to cover the structure. And that includes cutting it into usable size. So I've cut pieces of material into about this size and next we need to scrumple it up. After we've scrumpled it up, we are gonna dip it in the glue and make sure it's really, really soggy and wet. This bit's a bit messy. Uh, and then, bring it out, unfold it carefully, and pop it around our structure. I've popped a couple of layers of the material over our structure and I've tucked in all the excess at the bottom just around the withies and then we just leave it to dry. After your willow lantern has dried, next you can grab some things to decorate it with. So you might want to grab some colourful tissue paper like this and cut out some shapes and stick them on. Or you might want to do some painting or think about having a window. The sky is the limit. Use your imagination and be creative. For some inspiration, why not take a look at some of these fantastic willow lantern creations. The last thing you need to do is grab your LED light, or you could use fairy lights, pop that on and underneath your lantern or on the little shelf if you made one of those, and turn the lights out. I hope you've enjoyed taking part in this little workshop and tutorial about how to make your very own willow lantern. And I hope this little craft will brighten up your day. This video has been brought to you by the people behind the Cheltenham Christian Arts Festival. And for the Festival of Stars event, they're having a very special Willow Lantern installation. So if you've made a Willow Lantern, why not take a photo and send it in and you might be included in that installation. All the details about that are in the description. Thank you so much for taking part in this workshop today. Bye!